Welcome back. We're turning to your weather now, and it may not be the best time to maybe have lunch outside or enjoy too much time outdoor uh, later today, Stephanie. Uh, no, and I've noticed on the sky cams no raindrops yet, Emily. Yeah. So when can we expect the thunderstorms? Well, probably around lunchtime, I would say, maybe a little bit before that through much of the afternoon into the evening. And of course, we'll break that down coming up in about a minute from now. Temperatures over in Rangeley, 50s, lots of clouds, and that'll be the case for a lot of the morning. In general, we're waking up to the 40s and 50s this morning, 60s over in Rockland, 59 degrees in Portland, 45 degrees up in Rumford, 40s and 30s up in northern New Hampshire. As for your highs today, try 60s and 70s, 71 degrees down in Portland today, the same up in Lewiston, mid 60s in the mountains of both Maine and New Hampshire. When heading out the door, you're going to want to grab a raincoat. We're expecting showers and thunderstorms this afternoon, possibly a couple of raindrops in the greater uh, and probably over in western Maine and northern New Hampshire by 9 o'clock this morning. Temps starting off into the 60s. Of course, we're watching a low pressure. It's right here, a big L just up in uh, Canada here near Montreal. It's bringing a line of showers and storms along the cold front to the region. When heading outside today, especially this morning, you're going to notice that it's feeling a little bit clammy out there, especially out uh, in your driveway, outside of work too, at the bus stop too. A little clammy. That's because dew points are sitting right around that 60 degree mark. Once this cold front moves on through, it's actually going to break the humidity. Also bringing a line of showers and storms. Any storm that becomes a little bit stronger, gusty winds and some small hail, definitely going to be two of those threats there. Temperatures running into the 70s. We'll cool on down by the time we're heading through the afternoon. Another round of showers and storms likely by 7 o'clock tonight. Clouds will move out as we head towards Saturday. The best chance for an afternoon shower, passing shower, mostly up in the mountains. Can't rule any showers out towards the coastline. For how much rain you can expect, a couple tenths of an inch towards the immediate coastline, closer to three quarters of an inch over in Wiscasset and in Portland, loose and upwards of an inch or so. I do want to turn our attention to Monday, Labor Day, which is also the start of September. We're tracking above normal temperatures for the whole month of September and near normal chances for either a wet or dry month. So we'll keep an eye on that throughout the month in general. By September 1st, our average high is into the upper or mid 70s. We'll cool down about 10 degrees by the 30th. We see an average of 3.77 inches of rain throughout the month and the first day of astronomical fall is September 22nd. The first day of meteorological fall is this Monday, September 1st. We're expecting lots of sun over the next couple of days other than today and a little bit into Saturday. Temps running into the mid to upper 70s. Next time we see rain, this time by next week. Coming up in a few minutes, we'll have another check on our seven day weather authority forecast. Asia and Stephanie, over to you. Thanks, Emily. We're the 